Hey guys, this is Redline 100 HD, and um, today I'm actually doing my first drift build. Um, so this car that we're gonna do is a Nissan 300ZX, and this car is a really nice car. It's really um, it looks really nice, really smooth body, and looks aerodynamic almost. Um, so what color should we get? So yeah, today um, we're just gonna be uh, seeing how good this thing drifts and testing it out and stuff. And um, yeah, I think it should be a really good drift car because it um, it looks like it, but I'm not sure. So we'll just see what happens. So yeah, we got this car in black, metallic, and um, just let it do its little cutscene. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about this car because I've wanted to do this for a little bit of time and. Yeah, I know that it's a really nice car, and it has, I'm pretty sure this car has a really nice engine sound as well for, for GT5 anyway, so I'm going to actually put this in the GT Auto, and I'll see you in a second. Alright guys, so here we are, um, we're going to change the oil, the oil, first of all, can't talk. <laughs> so this will add a bit of horsepower onto the car. <coughs> Yep, now we're gonna, um, I think change the wheels, yeah, that's what we'll do, um, just see what I like, oh, well, that's pretty nice, nah, um, one of these, I like these ones just here, maybe the last one, I'm thinking, yeah, alright, so, um, we'll go to the, um, aero parts next, and um, have a look at what there is. Uh, I don't like those much. Nah, I don't think so. See what else they have. Rear, what's that? Ah, oh, those little things. Okay, we'll get that. Um, wing. Oh, not the big one. Yeah, that looks alright. I think we'll get that. Yeah, that looks nice. Yeah. Alright, so now we're going to go buy some parts for this thing, so I'll see you guys in the parts store. Alright, so um, first of all, let's get some comfort hard tyres. That's what we always have to do first with drift cars. Oh, I've got a message. <laughs> um, suspension, get the fully customizable put that on, go to drive train, I think we might get the customizable LSD this time, just to see what it's like after we get this, alright, let's go to suspension, not transmission, and grab all this, yep, fully customizable transmission, I think we'll just grab all the turbos this time to give it more horsepower, make it a good amount all right exhaust let's grab the manifold I think and the sports converter we'll see what the other exhausts are like later see what they sound like see if the one I'm talking about is this one or the um, sports one. So yeah, I'll grab these two things, manifold and the sports intake, and we'll grab the sports ECU just here, 482, 492, and we'll grab, I think, just one engine upgrade. That should be enough. Yep, that'll do. Alright, and I think that I'm going to go and tune this thing up after I get, let's see, yep, window reduction, that's good. We don't need a carbon bonnet, it's already black, <laughs> it doesn't matter. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the settings. Alright, so, let's first of all fix up the suspension. Put the camber up to 3 point something, let's see. 3.5, yeah, alright. 3.3 I think this will be. And um, put this all the way down on both sides. <laughs> Yep, now let's put this up to, I think, 9.0, should be good. And this can be a few more, so 9.4 should be good for this one. Um, do the usual for this, 7, 7, 6, 3. 
Alright. Transmission, put this to 250. <coughs> just see how it goes with that. And, um, I think we're almost done. We'll just go to drive train for a second. And just mess around with this for a bit. So we'll give that a bit more sensitivity in that. I think we're done, so let's go on the track and we'll see how this thing goes. Yeah, so as you can see, I got a different exhaust for this thing. It, um, it sounds a bit better now, I think. Um, yeah, it's a really nice sounding car and it, it's a really smooth drift car, I found out. It's probably probably my favourite at the moment. It's probably my best, I think. So yeah, um, we'll just see how this thing goes with the whole lap. Um, yeah, you got some different views here. You can hear the turbo <laughs> in the um, bonnet view. There it is. So yeah, this thing's really smooth. As, as you can see, the transitions are really nice and uh, smooth and they just kind of flow together, so they're nice. And yeah, in general, it's just a really good drift car. It, um, it holds drifts really nicely. You don't have to fight the car to get the drift. You can just um, hold the wheel to the left or right and it just holds it for you. So yeah, this was a pretty nice entry I just did right there. Um, so yeah, I think I hold a drift the whole lap actually. This is a really nice um, replay disc. Yeah, so um, you can hold drifts for long amounts of time, as you can see, just pulling the wheel all the way to the right. Very easy. Yeah, I did this whole corner pretty well. This is a nice corner. Yeah, the turbo pushing the car. Yeah, I got a bit of air on this bit here. <laughs> that was nice. Um, but yeah, this is a really nice lap, and um, I'm actually going to stop talking for a bit, and I'll let you guys watch the rest of the replay. See you guys next time. Remember, just before I leave, remember to leave a like and comment below, and don't forget to subscribe if you subscribe. See you guys next time.